I'm a burning man. Do you want to see my tent? Okay, come on in. This is where I live. I usually don't go in with my shoes for real, but for the video I will. So I have a, a doormat on the outside where I take off my shoes. And then on the inside, this is where I can dust off my feet in case I have any dust. I usually wear boots too, but today I'm like, fuck that. So, um, this is where I hang some stuff. Like right there, I've got a sweater, a hoodie, my towel, my loofah gloves, my purse. Loofah gloves for when we do our foaming. This is awesome. Right here, I've got my shelving and all this stuff is clearly marked. Like what's in it? And then if I don't know, there's also a ridiculous list up there where everything is clearly marked what's inside some water some gummy bears this is what happens to gummy bears when you take them to burning man they melt they turn into one gummy bear um i brought a lot of red wine a lot of prosecco um a lot of marshmallows to share at night with people because there's fires everywhere and i bring skewers and marshmallows and tons of baby wipes and then there is my hanging toiletries and that's where I keep all of my clothing and individually wrapped Ziploc bags. And in the corner you can see there's a laundry hamper. And I've hung a couple of sweaters and heavy jacket. My tent is pretty cool. It's got uh, windows that unzip and doors that unzip. And I have two tent fans. I've been too lazy to get the second one out of my bin. That's where I sleep. This is my inflatable mattress. And then, yeah, you can hear lots of people outside. It's a happy family. And then over here, I had the idea to get a trunk organizer and this is where I can keep things that I need to grab quickly like my bowl and my fork for meals and uh, my goggles and my headlamp and uh, handkerchiefs and things like that just to make it a little easier for me. So like scissors, work gloves, more baby wipes, um, a poncho, mittens, that kind of stuff. And over here, my bowl is what I keep use as a napkin. And utensils. So, uh, gray water. Some kind of weird shit over there. Trash. Yeah, that's everything. I'm bringing a lot of medicines. I did get sick this week, but it's all good. Um, yeah, this is where I live, and it smells like lavender in here because I spray lavender essential oil. Um, and I try to. I always unzip the windows in the morning because it's hot as fuck in here. And then I have like little pendants and things that people have given me. And then people, uh, someone gave me this. And then I've got the Orin over there. And then let me show you outside. So this is where I keep my bins outside. Um, my, my boots, my flip flops. Um, because sometimes you don't really have time to put on shoes. You gotta pee, you gotta put flip flops and get going. My water, I brought in 15 gallons of water for myself. Um, there's most of it. And then little brother's tent is right here. You got almost the exact tent as me, but a little smaller. And then this year, Robin has a shift pod. So, and there's my camelback. Um, when I'm out, there, all my water is in that that I drink from. You have to stay hydrated. This is me at Burning Man this year. I'm gonna go to a um, kimono and prosecco party that's being DJ'd by DJ Dan. Hey, there's a Braxis. That's our art car, one of our two art cars. The other one is the anti-war machine. By the way, my face makeup is done by Quest Skinner of Washington, D.C. Check her out. It's time to go party again. This place is lit by high-powered lanterns and Christmas lights. I also have a dustpan. Yeah, dust my, I dust my tent. I do it pretty much every morning. So it's White Wednesday and it's, I don't know, like 11 o'clock and I'm, it's time for me to maybe take a nap so I can wake up for the sunrise. But uh, I'm not so sleepy. But <laughs> maybe my body is telling me I'm sleepy. Can you hear my voice? It's been a great time. Here's how I live. This is what it sounds like to sleep at Burning Man. It's, I can hear two, at least two different sound systems right now. One of which is an art car that's parked pretty much outside. It is so loud and I can feel the bass, but I tell you, it is the best sleep ever. Uh, 
that I can fall right asleep right now. And I've set my alarm for 5 a.m. so I can see the sunrise.